When someone asks me, what do you try and do every day? I say, I want to go and move the mountains of court reform. Moving mountains is not for the faint-hearted, and court reform is not for the short-winded. I am Jonathan Lippmann. I was the former chief judge of the state of New York and the former chief judge of the Court of Appeals, our highest court. Growing up on the Lower East Side did make a great impact on me and many of the heroes in my part of the world were the judges who were leading citizens, leaders of our community. I was really the first lifer in the court system who actually went from an entry-level position on to become the very highest official in court system as the chief judge. I had virtually every role in the court system that you could imagine in those early days. We were able to put together this idea of creating this entity called the Center for Court Innovation. Judge Kay came in and John Weinblatt and I, and really Bob Keating was a key player. The idea that you had to institutionalize justice innovation was what drove us. And 25 years later, it is more vibrant and alive than ever. He expanded alternatives to incarceration. He fought to ensure more of those charged with offenses, that they would have opportunities to receive social services. With his support of problem-solving courts and changing our focus from case management to people management. He has fought for equal access to justice for all and has helped give voice to the voiceless. Judge Lippman was a bold, brilliant, and reform-minded court leader whose journey has been devoted to the idea that every person deserves to live with dignity. What Jonathan possesses above all is his explorer's vision. Mayor de Blasio and the speaker of the city council, Melissa Mark Viverito, spoke to me about the horrible conditions on Rikers Island and whether I would head a commission to figure out what the answer was to it all. The Center for Court Innovation played a vital role in the Rikers Commission, building the consensus among the members, to the drafting of our report, to the leadership of Greg Berman, of Courtney Bryan. The plan that we put forth was passed by the City Council. As of August 2027, Rikers Island will be closed forever and we will have new, more modern, more humane jails in their place. New thinking is not usually welcome. In fact, more often than not, people resist. In order to achieve something, you have to be persistent. You have to think and think again of how to accomplish something. The human beings who populate the Center for Court Innovation are the most persistent people I know. We're very proud of the center. And what could be better than to celebrate the 25th anniversary of that birth of this idea of justice innovation?